Hi everyone, Brent Costello here in beautiful Adelaide ahead of the Hobart Hurricanes huge Big Bash League final against the Strikers tomorrow afternoon. And what a result it was for the Adelaide team last night, qualifying to host the season decider by just the one run against the Melbourne Renegades right here at the stadium behind me. Both teams are training here this afternoon, so join us in Win News at 5.30 for all the late mail and a chat with skipper George Bailey. Hello again, Brent Costello reporting from the Adelaide Oval where the Hobart Hurricanes have spent the day preparing for tomorrow's Big Bash League final against the Adelaide Strikers. The team has decided to take a 13-man squad into the match with Nathan Reard in the unlucky omission, but we do have a big in in Darcy Short who will return from national duties tomorrow morning. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. You can see all the action here on Win from midday. Hi everyone, Brent Costello here in beautiful, warm, sunny Adelaide ahead of a huge Big Bash League final tomorrow afternoon between our Hobart Hurricanes and of course the Adelaide Strikers who qualified only last night by one run against the Melbourne Renegades. It was an absolute ripper in this very stadium behind me. Some breaking news this afternoon, great news too for the Hurricanes. Darcy Short is free to play in tomorrow night's final, which is absolutely outstanding. Cricket Australia will release him from his Australian duties following tonight's match in Sydney. So we can't be more excited about that. It also does mean though that Alex Carey and Travis Head are free to play for the Strikers as well. So a bit of a double-edged short there. But join us in Win News at 5.30. We'll have all the highlights from training this afternoon. We spoke to both captains. We'll bring that to you as soon as we can in Win News at 5.30. Well, here we are now inside the magnificent Adelaide Oval. Have a look at it, it is absolutely superb. It's hard to imagine there was 50 odd thousand people here last night watching a thrilling one run win to the Strikers, knocking out the Renegades from the tournament, uh, allowing them to host this final tomorrow afternoon. Uh, the Hurricanes have released their 13 man squad and it doesn't include Nathan Ridden. He's the unlucky omission for Darcy Short. So we're going in with 13, so two of those will have to come out from the final 11. Does Cameron Boyce come back in? Does Riley Meredith go out despite playing so well in Perth the other night? So many unanswered questions. Hopefully we'll have a few more answers in the next hour or so when we talk to George Bailey, the captain of the Hobart Hurricanes, at the press conference. He'll join Colin Ingram, the captain of the Adelaide Strikers, or the captain today anyway. Travis Head is back tomorrow who's released from national duties as well along with Alex Carey but uh, this place is just awesome it'll be rocking again tomorrow night 50,000 in the house plus no doubt the, uh, the home support will certainly be with the strikers hopefully a few people have flown over from Hobart but as we saw in Perth a few nights ago the home crowd uh, advantage certainly didn't deter the Hurricanes in that dominant dominant win against the Perth Scorchers that's the latest here from the Adelaide Oval back with another update soon well, here it is, both the trophies teams will be playing for tomorrow. This is the one that we're most interested in though, and the one we want the Hurricanes to get their hands on, the BBL trophy for BBL 07. It's what we've played all season for. Hopefully we'll be holding it up this time tomorrow. Across Tasmania, this is Win News. Tonight, a Labor candidate reprimanded over a lewd photo taken of his bottom. Alarming figures on the amount being spent on Tasmania's poker machines. And we head to Adelaide as the Hurricanes prepare for their biggest bash. We're under the 24-hour mark now until the Hobart Hurricanes take on the Adelaide Strikers in the BBL final. Sports reporter Brent Costello is well and truly on the cane train and he joins us from Adelaide. Thanks very much, Alison. Well, as you can see at the moment, the Adelaide Oval is looking pretty quiet, but trust me, by this time tomorrow afternoon, the place will be absolutely rocking. 55,000 people will be inside this place, screaming and cheering, mostly for the Adelaide Strikers, but also a few for the Hobart Hurricanes as well, including me, of course. Now, the Hurricanes' chances of a win received a massive boost this afternoon, with Cricket Australia deciding to release Darcy Short from his Australian duties following tonight's T20 match in Sydney, which is really exciting news. But it's almost a bit of a double-edged sword because it means Alex Carey and Travis Head will also be available for the strikers. Now, both teams trained here this afternoon. We're there to capture it all. So join us in sport. We'll bring it all to you. We'll see you then. Welcome back. As you heard earlier, the Hobart Hurricanes have received a massive boost ahead of tomorrow's BBL final against the Adelaide Strikers with star opener Darcy Short due to be released from national duties following tonight's T20 International in Sydney. Brent Costello has been covering the latest at Adelaide Oval. 
Good evening to you, Jake. It is significant news that the league's leading run scorer will be lining up for us here tomorrow afternoon. But it certainly will be a very busy 24-hour period for Short, given he'll have to make his way here to Adelaide from Sydney early tomorrow morning. As you can imagine, it was a very happy captain, George Bailey, that we spoke to this afternoon about Short's inclusion. He's been our, our linchpin. He's been uh, a match winner for us, so it's fantastic. But Short's inclusion has created a selection dilemma for the Hurricanes. They'll take a 13-man squad into the final with Nathan Reed in the unlucky omission following the destructive win over Perth. Despite being named in the squad, it's also still unclear if Cam Boyce will come back into the final 11. He certainly comes into calculation given um, his, his record here and um, having a leg spinner at this ground. Um, hard, to, hard to change the, the lineup from the other night though, that, that worked pretty well. As I said earlier in the news, Short's inclusion is a bit of a double-edged sword for the Hurricanes, given the strikers will get back Travis Head and Alex Carey from international duties as well. The strikers qualified to host the final last night with a thrilling one-run win against the Melbourne Renegades out here at the Adelaide Oval. I think everyone's yeah, probably in the best space that we've been in through the season and uh, it's been great to put it together right towards the back end. With a sellout crowd of more than 50,000 expected here tomorrow night, there's no doubt the Strikers will have all the home ground support they need to win. But the Hurricanes won't mind they were in exactly the same situation in Perth a few nights ago. You don't really have a choice when you finish fourth. You're pretty thrilled to be in a final, so we're, we, we felt pretty grateful to, to make the finals um, once we sort of left our destiny in other teams' hands. Um, grateful to make the four. Played a terrific game the other night, which gives us great confidence. Whoever wins tomorrow will be creating a BBL history of sorts, given neither of these two teams have won a title before. The men's match isn't the only feature here tomorrow, with the Sydney Sixers and Perth Scorchers playing off in the WBBL final. So there you have it, our live coverage begins on win at midday tomorrow, which will include a number of crosses to me here at the ground for all the build-up. You can also follow us on our social media channels for all the hype around the big game. That's it from me from the Adelaide Oval for now. One thing left to say though is, go the Canes! Thanks Brent, looks an absolute treat there. Enjoy the game tomorrow. Good morning from lovely Adelaide where we are so excited for this afternoon's BBL final right here at the mighty Adelaide Oval. Cannot wait, four o'clock local time start, 4.30 Eastern back at home in Hobart. It is going to be absolutely unbelievable as the Hobart Hurricanes try to go for their first ever Big Bash League title. We get Darcy Short back, which is amazing. Didn't have the night he would have liked for Australia in Sydney last night, but we know he's saving himself for a big, big run fest this afternoon. Just run into Ben McDermott, who's wandering the streets of Adelaide. Very, very nervous, he said, but excited at the same time. Can't wait to see the boys out there this afternoon. Don't forget to follow our social media channels all day for all the up-to-date information. We'll also be crossing into the coverage this afternoon on WIN. Thanks for joining us here this morning on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see you throughout the day. I'm joined now by the Hurricanes unofficial number one ticket holder, Jacob Bevis. Bev, thanks for your time. That's and okay. Good to see you here in Adelaide. You're the only Hurricane supporter I've seen so far, but uh, yeah. hopefully we'll have a few more here this afternoon. Yeah, I think I know one other going, so uh, yeah, hopefully uh, they'll come out. You're always going to come across for the final? Yeah, I was always planning to, trying to get across, so, so here I am. It's a beautiful weather and a beautiful picture in the background. So. Yeah. Certainly pretty hot here at the moment, probably in the 30s already, I guess. Um, yeah. Does that favour the strikers later on, or do you think that doesn't matter? Uh, I don't know, considering like we played in Perth the other night, which was, I guess, was in sort of all the weather, so I guess it does a little bit, but I think we can leave it What's the key to, to winning today, do you think? Obviously, we get short back, but uh, as I said yesterday, it's a bit of a double-edged sword in a way, because they get uh, two of their stars back too, in Kerry and, and Head. Yeah, it's interesting. I think if we... Um, bat first and put in a good total and then bowl well, then we'll of course uh, do pretty well, but uh, if, we, uh, if we bowl first, then we've got to make sure we keep them to a defendable, uh, keep them to a chaseable total. So. Obviously you've got the purple kit on mate, yeah, yeah. How, how do you feel heading into this place later on with 50 odd thousand oh, people in blue? Yeah, it's going to be interesting actually, <laughs> I've never actually experienced anything like that, so um, yeah, it would be interesting to see their reactions I suppose. And, um, yeah, how they respond to it, and um, yeah, it should be interesting. It should be an interesting experience. Will you be loud? Will you be vocal in there? Will it scare you? Or will you sort of be in the oh, shell a little bit? I'll try and be as vocal as I can. Yeah, I won't, won't let the strikers supporters get to me. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'm here to support them, so I'll do my very best to support.
All right, I think you should look down the barrel and give us one of your trademark. Go Canes, woo. All right, go the Canes, woohoo, you beauty. <laughs> Oh, oh Richard, he has! No, would allowed. you believe it? <laughs> not allowed. <laughs> that is not allowed. Yep, well and truly the Hurricanes in front. Come on. If you got that bloke doing that sort of stuff. <laughs> oh, that says it all. Picking an apple off a tree. Thank you. That is just world class. Brilliant. We've seen plenty of catches go down. It's as good as you'll see. Oh, I'll just flip it away. Shelling peas, they say. Hi everyone, Brent Costello here in Adelaide. I hope you're enjoying the coverage wherever you're watching right around Tasmania. And a big hello to everyone at the live site at Rest Point Casino. Well, we're just a matter of hours away now from the Hobart Hurricanes. Big Bash League final against the Adelaide Strikers right here behind me at the Adelaide Oval. We're about to head inside to get some of the build-up. So make sure you check out the Win News Tasmania social media channels on Facebook and Twitter for all the action. All right, it's going to be an intimidating place for the Hurricanes to play this afternoon here at the Adelaide Oval. And joining me now is a group of Adelaide fans, including Jamie. Jamie, you're confident you guys will win this afternoon and why? Well, anything's possible. Uh, Hobart are obviously a, a big team to beat, but we're hoping we can just about deliver and, uh, and pull it off at the end. So. Interesting this year, 50-50, we run in Hobart, you guys run over here, so it's going to be close, isn't it? It's gonna be, whichever way it goes. It's, it's going to be a nerve-wracking game, uh, whatever way you look at it, whatever side you're on. So. Fingers crossed, we can just uh, yeah pull it off, go strikers. You please the best players are back. You guys get Henry Carey, we yep. get Darcy Short, so that's uh, good for the game, I suppose. It's a nice balance. It was a good. Uh, I'm so glad that you know obviously you got Darcy Short, so we get to see a really great game as well uh, from the from the Hurricanes end. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, having uh, having our players back is always a bonus. What's the result this afternoon? Come about seven o'clock tonight. I think we'll be going home happy. <laughs> yeah, go strikers. Here at the Adelaide Oval with the Hobart Hurricanes general manager Phil Rigby. Phil, how are you feeling first of all? How are the boys looking heading into the game? Yeah, it's obviously really exciting. You know, great occasion to be here on the, the last day of the tournament, and um, so we're, we're pumped. Um, just saw some of the players then; they look really, really relaxed. Obviously, great performance the other night for Perth. So um, it's all to play for today. So. Funny old season. We, we lost the first two games, but the next five, then we lost a few more towards the end. But a great win in Perth. Uh, so the momentum we really wanted this time. The season, yeah, absolutely. Momentum's everything in big bash, and I think we we owe the strikers on here today. We, we probably played not one of our greatest performances in the field when we played here, so I think we, we sort of go into this game with confidence and um, hopefully we'll bring the trophy home. We've we'll had the entree, the Sydney Sixers are WBBL champions for WBBL 03. Now it's time for the main course. Hobart Hurricanes and the Adelaide Strikers are not too far away. The toss happens 45 minutes before the start of play at 4 o'clock local time here at the Adelaide Oak. I'm here with Alex Malenko, the father of Simon, who's going to be out there for the Hurricanes this afternoon. And Alex, you must be so proud to be uh, sitting here watching your son play off in a final. Absolutely. I'm waiting in anticipation of a Hurricanes victory and uh, hopefully for a good performance from the outside. You spoke to him this morning and how is he? Uh, yeah, I uh, text uh, this morning, but uh, he's well and looking forward to the game today. All, all the best, hopefully uh, there's a little in the result, good luck. Lovely, and all the best to all the fans here in Hobart, cheering on. Well, we've had the entree. The Sydney Sixers are WBBL champions for this summer. Now it's time for main course action, the one we've all been waiting for. The Hobart Hurricanes are taking on the Adelaide Strikers in the BBL final. Don't forget you can follow all the action here from the Adelaide Oval via our social media channels on Facebook and Twitter. And then on Monday night in Win News, we'll have it all wrapped up. All the reactions here, win or lose from Adelaide. Hi everyone, Brent Costello here in Adelaide. Don't forget to watch Win News tomorrow night at 6 for all the reaction from the Hobart Hurricanes BBL 07 final against the Adelaide Strikers. You can also follow our Facebook and Twitter pages for all the up-to-date news and information here in Adelaide. Win News tomorrow night at 6 is the place to be.
In Win News on Monday night at 6, we'll have the full wrap-up of the Hobart Hurricanes Big Bash League final against the Adelaide Strikers. We'll talk to the people that matter and have all the post-match analysis. Join us on our social media channels as well, on Facebook and Twitter, for all the up-to-date action here in Adelaide. Win News, Monday night at 6 o'clock. Across Tasmania, this is Win News. Tonight, Hobart Regatta organisers flag a move away from the public holiday. The CEO of AFL Tasmania announces his departure and the Hurricanes back to the drawing board after their BBL final loss. The dust hasn't settled on their campaign, but the Hobart Hurricanes are already talking about going a step further next season following their BBL final loss to Adelaide overnight. George Bailey's men were completely outplayed by the strikers, going down by 25 runs. But after producing the player of the tournament and discovering a new cult hero, there are plenty of positives to be taken out of the summer of T20 cricket. It was a disappointing end to a terrific season for the Hobart Hurricanes. Party time in Adelaide. Strikers, they win their first big bash crown. As their opponents celebrated in style, the Purple Army was left to ponder what might have been. We probably left 20 runs too many out there. You know, I think 180 would have been a, a really interesting game. I think if it had been one or two runs, then you'd be, you'd be really gutted. But um, we were probably outplayed. Um, by some distance, so it's, it's, um, it's disappointment, but, but not too bad. Unfortunately, the Hurricanes have now lost two BBL Grand Finals. They'll be disappointed with the result today, but as the sun sets on another summer of T20 cricket, they can look back on their campaign with pride. Pre-season, many experts said they wouldn't even make the top four, meaning they've proved a lot of people wrong. To be honest, it's, it's a pretty surreal feeling to be coming out here playing the Big Bash final. Um, definitely personally being my first year with it all, um, being exposed to uh, this type of pressure has been fantastic. The Strikers win had a Tasmanian connection, with former Hurricane John Wells claiming a title in his first season with Adelaide. Bittersweet, uh, but you know, very good result for us on the day and um, yeah, the guys stood up and probably played their best performance when it mattered most. And, yeah, great to be on the winning side. Pre-game, a handful of Hurricane supporters were speckled across a sea of blue. I'm from Tassie, so we uh, made sure that we were we here. Got tickets. Really excited. Simon Malenko's father, Alex, travelled from New South Wales to watch the season decider. I can't imagine what it's like being a parent watching your son play in a final. Are you nervous? Um, internally, yes. <laughs> How do you feel the game will go today? Oh, well, I reckon if we can bat well, then we should be able to win, yeah. But fast forward three hours and the feeling was a little more subdued. Look, it's shattering to be honest, but the boys, the boys did well. Um, I didn't expect them to beat Perth. Less than an hour after the final ball was bowled, the team was already looking to the future. You know, we want to go one step further. We weren't, we weren't happy just making the final and we spoke about that again today. We, Making the final means nothing, we want to win it, um, that's all that's remembered in the end. The Hurricanes arrived back in Hobart this afternoon, but there won't be any rest with Sheffield Shield cricket to resume on Thursday. Brent Costello, Win News. Well, we'll spot now with Brent Costello who has just rushed back from Adelaide and the Australian T20 team has trained at Blunston Arena. It has Lucy and we hear from all-rounder Ashton Agar next. Also tonight, Darcy Short makes a long-term commitment to the Hobart Hurricanes. Good evening. The pain of the Hurricanes' BBL final loss to Adelaide has been eased, with one of the team's best players inking a new long-term deal. Despite still having one season left to run, Darcy Short has extended his contract for a further two years, ensuring he'll remain in purple until the end of the 2021 summer. This tournament, Short smashed an incredible 572 runs. That's more than any other player in the history of the BBL. Following his knock of 68 last well done, night, post-match he was named mate. the competition's most valuable player. Yeah, definitely bittersweet. Um, good, happy to be a player of the tournament, but I would have liked to finish it off today with a win. Given the impact he's had in his first two seasons with the club, Cricket Tasmania has wasted little time getting pen to paper. He's actually signed a contract to extend beyond next year, so we've got him for three more years, uh, which we haven't actually announced yet, so it's good to still let the fans know that he's well and truly here. So the Master Blaster says he's enjoyed every moment of his time with the Hurricanes. They're just so energetic and everybody loves playing for each other and um, 
it's a great, great family environment, so it's always, always good to play with. With Short and Jofra Archer both signed and sealed, the next major decision is the future of Tamal Mills. After a disappointing campaign, the Englishman was dropped for the team's final few matches and still has one season left to run on his contract. I think he's got some, some work to do by his, by his own admission in terms of um, getting his form back to where it can be. He didn't have a great preparation in the lead up to the season, so that's something we'll certainly look at as well. But um, we'll review that in the cold light of day, I think. The Hurricanes lost last night's final by 25 runs, with plenty of questions asked as to why Matthew Wade was dropped to number six in the batting order given his recent good form. Paney's record at the top for us has been very successful, and we just sort of thought about left right. So if, if Das had been the first batsman out, then, then Wadey would have gone in and. Um, and had that impact that he has had in the last couple of games in the first six. It may be season over for the Hurricanes, but squad members will have little time to rest. Some will play for Australia against England at Blunston Arena on Wednesday night, with remaining players heading back to their respective states ahead of the recommencement of the Sheffield Shield season on Thursday.